Seasonal Affective Disorder, Circadian Rhythm Misalignment, Full Spectrum Visible Light. These are all terms you've probably come across if you're into the health and wellness space. You see, with our modern indoor living, we don't get exposure to enough sunlight. And in particular, sunlight or bright light at the right times of the day. In fact, for a lot of us, we're getting a lot of our light exposure at the end of the day when the sun has set. Now, this has a big impact on our health on our hormonal cycles, circadian rhythm, mood, well-being, all sorts of metrics. There's a solution and it's simple, just go outside more. But unfortunately, a lot of us can't do that. And that's where sad devices come in or this biotherapy light from Block Blue Light. There's also another really good solution if you spend a lot of time indoors. And I'm gonna talk about that more at the end of the video. But for now, let's take a closer look at this bio light. It's very bright, I can tell you that for free. So pretty much the idea with this device is to mimic sunlight in a way. Well, at least mimic sunlight on the eye, taking the, the good parts of sunlight, full spectrum visible light, but also a blend of near infrared light. And you can use this at your workstation while you're eating breakfast, having your coffee and mimic what would be happening if you were outside doing the same thing? Of course, not all of us can get outside or maybe you live in a climate where there is very, very little sunlight, all sorts of reasons. Now the bio light here is 40 LEDs, 20 of which are near infrared and 20 of which are full spectrum visible light. Visible light being the light we can see, of course, full spectrum meaning it's replicating what the sun is doing. So we're gonna have a closer look at this later in the video, but allegedly a lot of seasonal affective disorder lights, primarily blue light in them. And of course this can be great to help with circadian rhythm realignment, but it's not really the sun replica that we're looking for. The bio light has a brightness rating that goes up to 14,000 lux. And according to research, this is more than enough to help with mood and well-being. Now the device itself has a brightness mode, so you can adjust that brightness level. It has a built-in timer all the way from one minute up to 30 minutes. And you can select whether you want full spectrum and near infrared or just the near infrared lights running. I guess in theory, with just the near infrared on, you could use this at a, as a regular photobiomodulation therapy device uh, and get the benefits of near infrared. But let me look into this and report back to you in this video. Size-wise, it's similar to that of uh, iPad mini, perhaps. It's nine inches tall by five inches across and about an inch deep. It has a foldable built-in kickstand which actually works really, really well. And it comes with a provided power cable. It actually makes it a good size for traveling. Now, how do I personally use this? Well, I set this beside my workstation, my computer desk, just off to the side. That's how it's meant to be used. I use it in full spectrum mode, which is the visible light and the near infrared. I use that for 20 minutes in the morning. So I come in and I have my coffee, catch up with some emails. I'll have it running while working away. And then at midday, I'll turn on the near infrared only mode and use this for about 15 minutes. This is to make up for the lack of near infrared I'm getting being inside. And then mid afternoon around three o'clock, I'll fire up the full spectrum mode again turn the intensity right up and I'll use this as a bit of a pick me up to avoid the afternoon slump and also as an energy boost before I hit the gym. Now in summer times when I'm outside a bit more, I may not do all of these sessions, may just do the one. And then when it comes to travel, I do a lot of international travel, multiple time zones. I actually use this as a jet lag device, jet lag beating device. So when I land and I wanna adjust to the local time zone, I'll do about 20 minutes at full brightness, same thing, just off to the side. So the light's hitting my face, in particular, hitting my eye. So what I'm gonna do is look at what exact wavelengths are being emitted here. And I'm also curious to see the intensity. Can we use this as a therapeutic near infrared device? Okay, so this is in full spectrum mode. So you can see, yeah, you've got the blue, green, the yellow, the red, and then the peaks here in the near infrared which are quite interesting. We'll take a closer look at the near infrared soon. But as for the full spectrum light, yeah, you are getting a relatively good, nice blend of visible light. It's not like some other devices that have a lot of blue, 
a bit of green and a bit of red and uh, it appears to be white light visible pure white light but what's actually going on is you're getting a mix so yeah a pretty good job here i mean you're going to see some peaks and troughs but uh, it's not too bad when we look at near infrared only now the bio light has a blend of 730 770 810 850 and 890 non-visible near infrared light so let's just line these up with what i see yeah so there's your 750 getting a uh, 770 there 810 850 and then this is around the 900, so a little bit higher than the 890. The idea with the near infrared light here is you're getting those extra therapeutically beneficial wavelengths that you typically don't see in a regular SAD device. And the near infrared light can be beneficial for eye health, for ATP synthesis, for helping that circadian rhythm biology. Now, when we look at the intensity of this light at six inches in the near infrared only mode, you're getting about five to 10 milliwatts over centimeter squared, which is not a huge amount of energy. If you're looking at it from a therapeutic point of view, remember it's not designed for that, but it's still enough to get skin benefits at six inches. When you come right up to the device, you're getting numbers up around the 40, 50 milliwatt, which is, I mean, I mean you could use this for joints, for instance, because there is a decent amount of energy. Likewise, if you're in full spectrum mode, you're getting quite a lot of light. Though remember, a lot of that is coming in the blues and the greens. It's not just a red light therapy device. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, can you go down, hit the like button, it'll take you a second or two. I really, really, really appreciate those two seconds. It'll take you to hit the like button. And also subscribe. Uh, I'm actually doing some videos looking at the light intensity of the sun at midday in various locations around the world, uh, various seasons. So that'll be interesting to see how much light I'm picking up on my device and how it compares to say this device. So hang around for those ones and um, say hi as well if you want to. All right, so what does the BioLite from Block Blue Light cost? Well, it retails for 430 US dollars. However, if you order through the link down below, you're gonna save 15%. It's quite a big saving. That'll bring the price down to $365. I do need to mention it's a win-win for all. You get a discount, but I also get a commission. If you don't want to support me in the channel, that is fine. Just don't use the link, uh, pay full price. Or go find someone else's discount link and support them instead, I guess. Uh, as for shipping, it's $7 to get this shipped to the States. Our international prices are pretty good, but they do vary. And there is a 30-day returns period. All right, so what do I like about it? First up, the size. I mean, it's quite small and quite light and the built-in stand makes it very easy to sit up and adjust wherever you want i mean i literally just use it beside my laptop when traveling or at my home desk station easy the buttons on the front are all easy to use and easy to see typically i don't like the timer on the front of a light panel uh, because it's hard to see but for whatever reason this is not a problem here buttons are all simple but they work Icons are pretty straightforward. I mean, you can't really overcomplicate this. I mean, obviously it's great to see full spectrum light rather than just three or four peaks all blended together. You know you are getting a good blend of light. Speaking of a blend of light, it's good to see those, what, five different near infrared wavelengths in here. That's pretty cool. I mean, even red light therapy panels don't have five different near infrared wavelengths in them. A lot of the wavelengths aren't typically associated with photobiomodulation, but still, there are going to be benefits to having those wavelengths in there. And I do like the fact that the intensity is high enough that you could actually use this for your skin or joints or wherever else. I mean, you could use it on your chest or neck as well. Of course, it's not going to treat a large area like a full body panel like I have behind me would. But hey, uh, it's not designed for that. I'm just saying you could use it for those reasons. Oh, and then finally, I mentioned the travel and jet lag. I, I mean, I really like it as a travel device. It's rather light, easy to pack. It's very sturdy and sol solidly built. There's only one fan at the back. It's just handy to have. So when you are traveling, you can use it to adjust the local time zone. You could use it for the near infrared benefits and you can use it for that mid-afternoon or midday pick-me-up. What do I not like about it? Well, I mean, you could argue it's a little bit too basic. There's no smart modes here or automatic modes. I know some other SAD devices have like 
preset mode so you can schedule when it comes on and off and little indicators as to when you've used it you know did you do your morning session and your mid afternoon session some other devices have built-in alarm clock mode so it will turn on in the morning and help wake you up and you know get you going with the day i don't think you need those features i kind of like that it is rather basic in that sense but some people may want them. So I guess you could say it is a downside. There's a maximum of a 30 minute runtime, though it is pretty easy to override, but you can't leave this running you know, for hours on end. The cable provided is rather chunky. I wish it came with a much more lightweight streamlined uh, cord, especially if you're using it around the house or traveling. Even better would be if it was say USB-C powered. I don't know if it would be able to provide enough current, but just a more streamlined cable would have been good. And then finally we have the price. I mean, it's not crazy expensive, I guess just compared to some other daytime light boxes, sad devices, it is more expensive. However, it is better than those, right? Well, depending on how you're looking at it. So, you know, you're paying for a quality product, uh, but if you just need a bunch of blue light to help you get started in the morning you may be better off just getting a hundred dollar device off amazon for instance but remember this is more than just a bright light to help wake you up okay so who's it for who should buy it well if you live in a climate where there's not much sunlight or you know the latitude is close to the poles and in the winter season you're not able to get much light or you're just stuck inside, or you just want to optimize your health, wellness, circadian rhythm, or you're looking for a jet lag travel device, or you're looking for a device that has a lot of full spectrum light in it, but also some of the benefits of red and near infrared. All of those reasons are why you could or should buy the BioLite. But what about other products on the market? First up, what about a red light therapy panel? I mean, I've got one running behind me there. How does it compare? Well, of course, a red light therapy panel is only putting out red light and near infrared light. There's no blues, greens, uh, yellows. Well, there are some panels that have those, but they're intended for different purposes. Those panels behind me are designed to emit a decent amount of therapeutic light into the body. The BioLite, on the other hand, is designed to light up the face and in particular the eye with full spectrum light and a bit of near infrared light to help mimic the sun effectively. So they're different products serving different needs. Now you could look at consumer sad lights. Philips have their energy lights. They've got a bunch of them ranging from $80 to $300. The top ones put out about 10,000 lux of light. So they're not as bright as the bio light. Also, they put out a lot more blue light compared to the full spectrum and they don't put out hardly any near infrared light but they do have some pretty neat smart mode options built in. Next, you could look at the Chroma Lux Vital. Now this is a wide band light therapy device. It's, now this is not a full spectrum light. It's got about seven or eight different wavelengths in it, and it's designed to activate your non-visual photoreceptor systems. I'll put a link to this product down below because it is rather fascinating. It's also very, very powerful. And the near infrared goes all the way up to 10, 50 nanometers. However, it's also very expensive. You're looking at two thousand odd dollars for one of these devices now finally i mentioned at the start of the video there is another option another way to get full spectrum light from the comfort of your home and that is with another product from block blue light the same company that make this and this is their full spectrum led light bulbs they've got a range of different sizes whether it's spotlights or screw in light bulbs but they're all designed with full spectrum visible light in mind Unfortunately, at the time of filming, they don't have any with near infrared in it, but that may change. But let's say you work from home or you want to optimize your home environment and you have a bit of control over the lighting and what light bulbs are used, then yeah, this could be another option. You're going to spend $50 to $80 per light bulb, so it may get expensive if you want to do the whole house and something like this will all of a sudden look really attractive price-wise but you could just put them in your home office or your kitchen or areas where you spend a lot of time during the day. So I'll put links to those below. And if you'd like me to do a review of them, let me know because I'll check them out.